To install an mSATA SSD in your laptop or Ultrabook, here's what you'll need. Your crucial mSATA SSD, a non-magnetic tip screwdriver, and your system's owner's manual. Make sure you're working in a static, safe environment. Remove any plastic bags or papers from your workspace. Also, when handling your crucial mSATA SSD, be sure to hold it along the side edges using your thumb and index finger. Avoid touching the components and connectors as damage can occur. Some systems require you to remove the top keyboard section of your system, exposing ribbon cables that may need to be disconnected in order to access the mSATA SSD. Shut down your system. Once your system is powered off, unplug the power cable. Before handling your crucial mSATA SSD or any internal components, touch an unpainted metal surface or wear an ESD wrist strap to protect against static damage during the installation process. If you happen to touch your owner's manual or other statically charged objects during the installation process, reground yourself as necessary. Next, you'll need to disconnect the battery. Consult your owner's manual for specific instructions since there are a variety of battery types found in laptops and ultrabooks. Hold the power button for three to five seconds to discharge residual electricity. Consult your system owner's manual to locate the mSATA socket on the motherboard. Remove the existing mSATA SSD from your system storage bay. Align the notch on the mSATA SSD with the ridge in the mSATA socket. Then insert the drive at a 45 degree angle. Do not force the connection. Once the drive is fully seated into the socket, push down until the drive is level with the socket. For mSATA sockets that use clips, make sure the clips snap into place around the drive to ensure that it's fully secured. If screws are required for your motherboard, screw the mSATA drive into place. Once your mSATA drive has been securely fastened, reconnect the battery and reassemble your system. Power on your system. If you did not migrate your data from an existing drive, install operating system, drivers, utilities, and applications as needed. Installation is now complete.